Okay, I think I'm ready to start my second quilt for my African fabric. Um, these are the fabrics that I have um, and some of the contrasting solid colors that I think will go with them. That green might not match exactly, but maybe I'll use it and maybe I won't. Um, but I think they'll blend. There are blues and greens and navies and limes and oranges, but I, I think I think once they're cut uh, they'll all blend together. And I'm gonna I think cut them in, in a way to show off the pattern if I can do that. Uh, these leaves are pretty big and I won't be able to use that whole leaf. Um, so when I cut what would be from a fat quarter, I'm not gonna cut it uh, with just straight cutting. I want to try to um, be able to show some of the pattern uh, in these fabrics. Uh, the pattern that I'm going to use is this one here, which basically just makes blocks. Um, you're cutting some triangles um, and a couple squares um, and making blocks that you then put together. So it's, it's going to go together quickly once I decide to actually make the first cut and start cutting the fabric. Um, you know, I think it will it will it will sew up very quickly. So I've just been kind of reluctant to try to figure out how I want to cut the fabric so I can show off the colors and the patterns. Um, I don't want to lose that uh, when I cut. So we'll see how it goes. Thank you. Okay, I did the cutting. Um, these are the uh, very large rectangles. This is the next size rectangle. There's 20 each of these two sizes. And then these smaller rectangles over here and the squares. I needed 40 of those because one rectangle and one square get sewn together and then each pair get sewn together. So the blocks are going to be quite large. I think this is going to be a very nice size quilt. Um, it should fit a double bed. Um, so I am about ready to start sewing. I'm excited. This will go together very quickly once I get sewing on it and uh, it'll be fun to see what it looks like. Thank you.